In the first part of this video, I talk about growth of internet users, the impact of mobile phones on accessibility of internet, and the penetration of social media platforms in India. Actually, the internet, mobile phones, and social media platforms have greatly impacted the ways in which the business processes were conducted traditionally. As earlier discussed, although the internet has greatly impacted the domains of business like finance, marketing, and human resource development, I personally feel that internet has greatly impacted the way we were doing the marketing traditionally. But the important question here is, what really has been changed? We will try to find out the answer for this question by understanding the concept of digital marketing. So, what is digital marketing? If I put it in very simple words, the digital marketing is the process of marketing of product and services by using internet and digital devices like computer, tablets, and mobile phones. Now let me give you one example for this. Let us say you are browsing a Google and you are searching for something. And while the results are shown in Google, you can see at the top few advertisements are there. So these advertisements are an example of digital marketing because in this case we are using the internet and web to promote our product and services. Now let me give you the formal definition of digital marketing. So digital marketing is the practice of promoting product and services using digital distribution channels to reach consumers in timely, relevant, personal and cost effective manner. In very simple words, digital marketing is the process of marketing of product and services by using the internet and any digital device. For example, if I want to advertise my product and I am making use of various websites or the search engines, then this will be called as digital marketing. I have used the word marketing. Do you know what is marketing? Let me explain it for you. Actually, the marketing is a process by which the various companies are trying to identify the customer's needs and eventually they try to satisfy those needs by delivering the product and services, by creating the value for customer as well as for the businesses. Now let me give you an example. I am just developing a course on digital marketing for MOOC purpose. For this purpose, I need various services like video editing, video recording, and the studio. Now, what will happen in the background that various companies will identify this need and they will try to satisfy this need by offering these product and services to me. During this process, all the activities performed by the companies like pricing, delivery of the product, and the promotion of the product will be part of marketing. Now, similarly, if all of these activities or few of them are conducted with the help of internet or by using the digital devices, then the same thing will be called as digital marketing. Let me give you a few examples. Let us say company is using the Google search engine, website, or the social media platform. Then the same thing will be referred to the digital marketing. Now the basic question, is digital marketing really picking up in India? Let us look at few facts. This diagram shows the India's ad spend changed during the year 2017 to 2018. It's clearly visible that among all the channels of promotion, the change in ad spend is highest in case of digital platforms, that is 30%. Although these figures are projected one, but they give us the very clear indication that in the coming years, various businesses, they are spending more and more money on digital platforms. Further, in absolute term, the digital marketing expenditure has increased from 4,950 crore rupees in the year of 2015 to 9,450 crores to the end of 2017. A very recent report published by EY shows that 90% of Indian brands spend up to 15% of their annual marketing budget on social media marketing activities. In this part of the video, we try to understand the concept of digital marketing and how digital marketing is picking up in India. By looking at the data, we can easily conclude that digital marketing is the future of marketing, not only in India, but also in the world too. Now in the next video, 
we will talk about the domain of digital marketing and I hope you are ready for it. Thank you very much.